Okay, so here's one more example with a line integral. Uh, this time I've chosen to present the information in a, in a different way, right? There's a number of ways that you can provide the information that's needed to compute a line integral. In, in this case, we've, uh, we've expressed the quantity to be integrated in this differential form, right? So the, the vector field is here. This is your P. This is Q. And this is R. Right, so there's the components of your vector field. And this information here, this is defining your parameterization of the curve C. All right? So this is, you know, this is another way of basically writing this f dot dr, and as we've seen, it's sometimes a little bit more convenient to write things this way, because you can pretty much do things by, by simple substitution. So the way this ends up looking is we simply write something like this. So we're going to say, um, well, I should probably write, do the right-hand side, but what we've got here is going to be once we parameterize, so t goes from 0 to 2, okay? So we're going to have sine of what's x? x is t squared, sine of t squared times dx. So what's dx? dx is 2t. Okay, so 2t dt. Then we have cos of z. So we have cos of z, oops, and what is z? z is 2t, so we actually have to put that in. So cosine of 2t. And we have to multiply by dy. Aha, interesting. So dy is minus 3t squared dt. And finally we have y squared dz. So y is minus t cubed. We're going to square that. Um, dz um, is simply 2 dt. Right. So from here, you gather everything up. Factor of the dt, if you like. So 2t sine of t squared minus 3t squared cos 2t plus 2t to the sixth, okay? And you integrate that from, with respect to t. So at this point, you've got a standard kind of single variable integral that you can evaluate using techniques from calc 1 or calc 2 or by plugging this into Wolfram Alpha or something like that. Um, two of the three terms are, are relatively straightforward. Right here you have simple power rule. That's easy enough. Um, this is a simple substitution, right? You let u equal to t squared. du is sitting right here, 2t. In fact, that's not surprising because, you know, this 2t sine t squared, where did it come from? It came from sine x dx, yeah? So the other thing you could have done is you could have said, well, you know, for that, for that first part, you know, you could have said, hey, I don't really need to, you know, this depends only on x, right, this part. Um, the, you know, the other two variables, the y and the z, they don't come into the picture, right? So actually, I don't even need to know what's going on with y and z when I move along the curve. I really only need to know, well, what's happening with, uh, with x. And x starts at 0, it ends at 2, or sorry, t starts at 0, ends at 2. So x would start at 0, end at 4. So really what you're doing here is, is simply the integral from 0 to 4 of sine x dx, right? And we know how to do that one. That's something, you know, Calc 1 students can do that one in their sleep. That one's pretty straightforward, right? The other ones are not so simple because you have things mixed up, right? Um, here you're integrating something that it depends on z, but you're integrating with respect to the y-coordinate. Here, 
This depends on y, but you're integrating with respect to the z coordinate. So for those two terms, you have no choice but to parameterize. And depending on how, you know, what the dependence is for y and z, what the dependence on t is, you may or may not end up with something reasonable. The 2t to the 6, that's not so bad. Um, this one is, is not terrible, this one in the middle, right? Um, so the reason I'm not going to actually finish the integral for you um, is that the way we do this one is we do this by parts, and you get the t squared. So you integrate by parts once, that reduces this power to 1. Integrate by parts again, get rid of the t. So, so you would integrate by parts, and you'd have to do it two times. Probably you don't want to sit here for the next five minutes watching the video to see me integrate by parts twice. Um, so we'll be satisfied with getting it to this integral with respect to t. We know what we, in principle, should do from here. Um, it's a Calc 2 problem at this point, um, or, or it's a software problem, depending on how you want to treat these things. So we know how to set things up. We'll leave it at that. And we're going to move on, and we're going to look at some, uh, some technical details involving curves.